our discussion on mathematical induction. All right. So last time we talked about uh, mathematical induction. So uh, to prove uh, a property p n that it's true for every natural number n, if you want to use uh, mathematical induction, we need to do two steps. One is to establish the best case, that is to show that p i is true, and then we prove we have to prove the inductive step, which say that for any k greater than one is uh, greater than or equal to 1, pk implies pk plus 1. Uh -huh. St uh, to quickly understand why this uh, would imply that pn is true for every natural number, we need to uh, think about how, how to apply these two steps uh, to get everything in, in, natural, uh, in the set of natural number. So the best case is the place where you stand, so p1 is true because of the best case and then inductive steps because uh, this is true for every k which is at least one if we plug in one here then this would say p1 implies p2 and since we know that p1 is true from is true from the best case we can conclude that this would imply p2 okay and we can keep plug plugging in this so 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 we get that uh, p3 is also true and so on and so on okay so you start from p1 this is the best case and then the initial step uh, can be used to uh, implies that p1 implies p2 and so on and so on and, and so for any natural natural number n say maybe a, a, a thousand at some point after you repeatedly uh, tr use inductive steps you reach the point when you know that p100 is true and this can keep go on and on okay so this is uh intuitively how how these two uh statements imply the final one okay and uh the assumption here p k is has a special has a special name it is called induction hypothesis when we use it and this is the example that we did last time at the end of the lecture so we show that so let's give a quick review here so we want to show that the sum of uh, i from i is equals to 1 to n of i square okay equals this so to prove by induction we need to explicitly state that uh, the pn the property that we want to prove is is this okay and then we need to establish the best case which is usually easy because it's just a fixed n and then in that inductive step we look at for uh we assume that pk is true for k some k larger uh, for a particular k larger than one and then we want to show that this implies that pk plus one is true okay so this has to be true for any k okay that to do that uh when we assume this we get the induction hypothesis pk which state like this and then uh and then we can just do some calculation to get thing done so we write something like this i square uh, so we split the, the term k square k plus one square out and then we use the fact that this is the left hand side of the induction hypothesis hypothesis so we know that this equals to this okay and then we can do some manipulation just uh, take uh, factor this k plus 1 over 6 out and do some calculation and and you know in the end you get something in this form which is so we know that this terms equals this term and and this is pk plus 1 right this is something that we want to prove so because of the best case and the inductive step uh, the principle of mathematical induction implies that pn is true for every nat natural number n so this is the example of the uh, inductive proof that we did last time.